Hi, I'm Landon with the HCA, Hollywood Critics Association. How are you doing today, Ray? I am doing fantastic. Slightly under the weather, but very good, very good. Oh, got a little I know, cool. man. I got that thing that's going around. It's oh, no. I hear it's bad ah. this year, too. Annoying. It's been like 11 days. Anyways. Hey. 11 days? Yeah, dude. Since last Saturday. Terrible. Wow. Oh, well, I hope you get better for the Thank holidays. You. Thank you. Yeah. I saw the film yesterday and it was so cute. So fun. It wasn't a great experience filming it. It was a great experience filming it. Yeah. I really, really enjoyed it. Really enjoyed it. Everybody that worked on it. We had what fun. do you think was the most challenging thing for you as an actor um, trying to tackle this role, Ray? I think just overall resistance. You know, I, I think, uh, yeah. I, I, you know, I, I think just overall resistance to it is is always the toughest thing, you know, um, fear. But that that's standard. But you but you tackled it. I mean, you tackled it very well and, you know, very believable guy, um, you know, as her you know boyfriend, love interest. And I mean, what did you I mean, was there anything? How, how was the chemistry between you and Zoe when you guys first met? It was great. It was great. I mean, I think that Zoe and I, I think what works for the character is like Zoe and I are both very similar and very different. Mm. Um, you know, and I think that that's, I think that what keeps Gary and Rachel together, like, is this idea of one true love. I think that ultimately to me, the moral of the, the moral of the story is about timing. You know, I think that you can meet the right person at the wrong time. Um, and you know, that, that's what heartbreak is made of, you know, and I think that maybe Gary just wasn't ready. You know, he was trying to get his life together. I think when you're trying to do that and you don't quite know how to take care of yourself yet, I think it's difficult to also have the space to take care of and love somebody else. And, you know, ultimately our lovers are our best teachers. And unfortunately we learn from pain, you know, and I think that losing the right one sometimes is what gets you ready for for the next one, you know? So I, I think that to me, that was like the moral of the story and how I tried to approach it. And um, yeah. Yeah. It's all about preparation and, you know, our relationships really are mirrors to ourselves. It's really interesting that you brought that up. Now, have you ever found something that you weren't supposed to? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what was uh, it? Oh, I couldn't say. I couldn't oh, you say. can't say? Is there anything <laughs> no. that you could share? Um, have I ever found something that I wasn't supposed to, that I could share? <laughs> oh, um, gosh, it's just all these memories are flipping through my head right now. <laughs> just um, one, just one. Uh, like in, 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 in terms of like a, a, a snap, I suppose when I was a kid, I would like lurk around the house and look at what my Christmas presents were going to be, you know? Oh, yeah. sneaky Ray. I was like, I wonder if they were listening to all my really subtle hints at what I wanted for Christmas. Yeah. Would you like unwrap them and do the tape and then put them back? Like oh, no, no, no. I wasn't, I wasn't gifted enough with rewrapping to be able to pull that off. Oh, so you just kind of look, just peeked. It had to be premature. I, I knew about like, you know, 10 days a week before, you know, things might be, things might be sitting around the house. <laughs> so in the film, you know, obviously these proposals are not ideal, but what is your ideal marriage proposal? Probably pretty similar to Gary's. <laughs> <laughs> um, my ideal marriage proposal. Wow. I guess it would really depend on the person, you know, I, I, um, I'm not in a relationship right now, so I'm very far away from even thinking about it. But, uh, you know, I suppose I suppose I want somebody that I think marriage has become such an industry now, you know, and I, I suppose I want somebody that just like knows and trusts that my love is there and that it could be just anything. You know, it doesn't have to be this elaborate thing. It's just it, it just is that trust that. It's not highs and lows. It's just easy, easy going. So, you know, at a gas station. <laughs> yeah. At a gas station. That's what we can all hope for. Good love. Well, thank, thank you me. so much for taking the time to speak with me, Ray. I can't wait for everyone to see the film and I can't wait to see what's next from you. Oh, thank you very much. Appreciate it. Thanks. Have a great Happy one. Happy holidays. Happy holidays. Bye.